What's up, what's up? It's me, Maura Ray, with the Fashion Designer Blog. And I am here today with a four month big chop update. It has been exactly four months since the day I chopped off all of my hair and went completely bald. Go ahead on and thumbs up this video as I give you all a good update on what happened during this month. Now I'm supposed to be doing one week videos every week explaining exactly what's going on in my hair journey. But as you all saw, I went to Mexico for my best friend's 30th birthday and I suffered from second degree full body sunburns. And second degree means you blister. My face was blistered and my lips blistered and I was not getting on YouTube looking like that. So I'm back, everything's healed. I am still suffering a little bit from it, but not as much, but I'm back. Now about this month, during week 13 and 14, I was a little kind of worried because my hair had just came to a halt. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but it just completely halted. And it was no change at all during those two weeks. And then right around week 15, the hair had like a overnight growth spurt or something. I literally went to go wash my hair or co-wash it and got out the shower and looked in the mirror and was like, where did all this hair come from? This growth that you see did not happen throughout the month. This was overnight. So I can only speak on <laughs> literally about one week's worth of growth because the other weeks look exactly like month three. So my hair, I have noticed that I need to do a routine. So every week I do a deep condition every other day or every day, depending on how I'm feeling or I feel like my hair needs some type of attention, I co-wash. I wasted my Jamaican black castor oil in my bag by accident. It just wasted all over the place and I didn't have any oil that, that day. So I used some olive oil and I noticed that the longer my hair is, the lighter the oil needs to be. Jamaican black castor oil is very heavy and it weighs my hair down. So the olive oil is actually working better the longer my hair gets. So what I'm noticing with the length now and the mass that it is now, I need to start changing over my products. But that's pretty much it. So this is what it looks like. It's nice and full, growing. Um, I get tender edges every now and then, but I just put some olive oil on it and I'm happy. Now the lesson of this month is to love yourself exactly how you are. <laughs> because I wouldn't have been out there trying to get darker in the sun and I wouldn't have gotten all of that skin damage. So love yourself exactly how God made you. You like your bright skin, whatever, brown skin. Just love yourself the way you are. Love your hair the way it is. Don't try to alter anything or you might get damaged like I did. See you all later. <laughs> Bye.